Hello, and welcome to Software Architecture Monday. My name is Mark Richards. I'm an independent consultant, hands-on software architect, and also the founder of developer2architect.com. In today's lesson, number 57, we'll take a look at loose coupling and something called the Law of Demeter. We've been trying to strive for loose coupling for quite some time in architectures and finding that it is, in, it is in fact, fairly difficult. Uh, let's see a simple example here where we want to place an order. So I've got three components or services. These could be components within a monolith or separate services within, let's say, a service-based or even microservices uh, architecture. And so we've got an order placement, an email notification, and an inventory management. And so the order placement is responsible for placing the order, but not decrementing the inventory. And so there's a delegation that happens between the order placement and the inventory management, or I should say a communication to say, hey, inventory management, can you please decrement the inventory? And as a matter of fact, the order placement's not really responsible for emailing or notifying the customer that the order has been placed. And so it delegates that through communication to say, um, listen, email notification service or component, can you notify the customer? Now notice, this is a really good example of a delineated roles and responsibility and cohesion. However, we do have some coupling between these services right here or these components because the order placement isn't notifying or decrementing, but it needs to know that it needs to do that. Well, let's take a look at how the law of Demeter can actually help us in terms of promoting this loose coupling. Now, the law of Demeter is also known as the principle of least knowledge. It comes from the goddess of Demeter, which in mythology, mythology was the goddess of agriculture. And the law of Demeter says this, quote, a service or component should have limited knowledge about other services or components. It sounds very simple and obvious, but let me so show you the three rules associated with the law of Demeter. And so rule number one says this, each component or service should only have limited knowledge about other components, only those closely related. Rule number two, each component or service should only talk to its friends, don't talk to strangers. And rule number three, only talk to your immediate friends. So for those of you like me with kids, uh, <laughs> you'll know this sounds familiar. <laughs> don't, don't talk to strangers. Um, only talk to those closely related to you. And so uh, funny, those of us with young children actually practice the law of Demeter almost every day with our kids. But let's see this in practice within architecture. So there's a lot more going on here when we place an order besides just notifying the customer and decrementing inventory. You see, we also have a supplier ordering service or component to be able to order more supplies from the vendor and also an item pricing to be able to manipulate the price as the quantity or I should say the order uh, quantity changes. And so if the order quantity goes down to a certain amount, uh, we need to order more stock. And so now the order placement certainly isn't responsible for ordering more stock. Uh, that's through the supplier ordering. So the order placement has communication over to supplier saying, and by the way, I just placed this order and now we're down to 100 units, order more stock. As a matter of fact, if we go down to 50 and we don't have any stock yet, then the order placement says to the item pricing, and by the way, increase the unit price uh, as a supply and demand kind of function. Notice the order placement isn't doing that item pricing increase or ordering more stock. However, look at how coupled order placement is to the rest of the system. You see, we apply the roles and responsibilities technique to say it's not my responsibility, it's somebody else's. But do you notice a problem here? You see, the order placement knows too much about the processing. And so what we're going to do to apply the law of Demeter is say this, don't talk to strangers. And when it's talking is to that order supplying. So that supplier ordering, that should be actually communicated from inventory management. And now notice, by decoupling order placement from supplier ordering, there's less knowledge about the system, hence less coupling. See, this is that whole piece, especially even with the increasing unit price. This is the principle of least knowledge within the law of Demeter. You see, because the more order placement knows about the system, 
the more coupled it is. Order placement doesn't even know now that stock has to be ordered below a certain amount. As a matter of fact, that increase of unit price is going to go off of inventory management as well. And so notice how decoupled order placement now is. And the only reason, everybody, that it's decoupled is because it has limited knowledge about what happens in the system. Only those close to it. You see, applying the law of Demeter shows that these components, the item pricing or supplier ordering, are neither friends nor neighbors of order placement. They're strangers. However, inventory management and email notification are, in fact, close friends. In other words, I can't delegate that kind of workflow to somebody else. And, and that's really what we're decoupling here. It's not the fact that I'm not doing it, but the fact that I know it needs to be done. And by moving that, quote, I, I know it needs to be done to somebody else, I further decouple components. And that, in fact, is the principle of least knowledge or the law of Demeter. And so you can get more information about the Law of Demeter by actually going to Wikipedia, and I've given the link right there. Also, you can get more information through Software Architecture Monday, where all these lessons are located. I do offer three different private training classes. Uh, one is a three-day Software Architecture Fundamentals class. I've got a one-day Microservices Architecture and Design, and a one-day Analyzing Software Architecture class. And so you can check out my website uh, for information and, and what's contained in those classes. And also, I do have some of those available on public training, as well as online, and some conferences as well. And you can see where I'm actually going to be speaking next on upcoming events portion of my website. And so this has been Software Architecture Monday, Lesson 57, Loose Coupling and the Law of Demeter. Again, my name is Mark Richards, and thanks so much for listening.